The Brewers are taking on the Padres this Wednesday, May the 25th, and I've got a free MLB pick for you. I'm Allie Burns from Picks and Parlays, and our official sponsor, Caesar Sportsbook, wants to offer all new accounts up to $1,100 in first bet insurance when you get signed on with Caesars. You can check out the description of this video and find the link or just use the promo code MORNINGCZR. It'll take you right there. With me today, I've got expert handicapper Ross Benjamin here to give us the free MLB play. What's happening, Ross? Hey, it's all good. Uh, it's uh, it's a beautiful day here in western New York, believe it or not, Ellie. It's not uh, too bad here in Las Vegas either. Uh, so. It's always nice in Las Vegas, western oh. New York. We're in a snow belt here, you know? We were a, over 100 degrees two days ago. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Well, yeah, but the humidity's low, which is good. I mean, it, it's a dry it's a humidity, dry. so <laughs> it's a arid dry. climate or whatever they call it. Anyway. Yeah. Good for the arthritis. Yes, indeed. <laughs> um, so, so we're talking some MLB, and I notice you are on the tops of the Picks and Parlays leaderboards in MLB right now. So talk to me about the Brewers at the Padres. Padres are a minus 125 and the total seven and a half. What are we looking at? Yeah, well, let's start with the pitching matchup. It'll be Aaron Ashby, the left-hander, going for uh, the Milwaukee Brewers. And he's made three starts this year. Uh, his ERA isn't indicative of how bad he's pitched because he's lucky it's not much higher. Uh, in that, in those three starts, uh, 13 walks in 13 and two-thirds innings pitched. That's not very good at all, folks. That's just a shade under nine walks per nine innings pitched. And uh, in the two starts he's made during the day, and the, the game starts uh, at 410 on Wednesday, so this is a day game. Um, two of those starts during the day out of the three he's made, it's a 675 ERA and 200 whip. So uh, I guess he likes more sleep, Allison. That's all I can make out of that. Uh, the Padres, by the way, when facing left-handed starters this year, how about 12-3? and three? in those situations, and uh, they're going to be going with their ace, you Darvish, on the mound, and boy, has he been tough at home. As a matter of fact, the Padres are 3-0 and in Darvish's uh, home starts, and he's a good major reason why with a 137 ERA and an 066 whip in those situations, uh, and he's averaged 6.6 .6 innings pitch per start at home. That's a lot of innings. Uh, especially for a starter in this day and age. And uh, the the San Diego bullpen, by the way, been red hot over their last seven games uh, with a 111 ERA. And by the way, I forgot to mention this, Darvish has made six starts versus Milwaukee since 2018, and uh, he's absolutely dominated the Brewers with a 164 ERA and an 079 whip during those six starts. Don't forget, folks, I use that term whip a lot when it comes to baseball handicapping. It's a vital um, tool for me, and it's walks plus hits divided by innings pitch. I put a lot more stock in that sometime than ERA. Um, and also the Padres, 5-0 in their last five and 7-1 and in their last eight. Uh, again, we're taping 24 hours in advance, so I don't know who won game two of this series. Um, but uh, in those last eight games in which the Padres have gone 7-1, and They've allowed three runs or fewer in seven of those eight games. Coincidentally, they won all seven of those games. So I'm going to go with that trend and the uh, several other trends that I just brought up. More importantly, I think this is a starting pitching mismatch, and I think the Padres' bullpen has been solid of late, and uh, it makes for a pretty good betting situation here. I think there's a ton of value here on San Diego, minus 125 over Milwaukee, and that game goes on Wednesday afternoon at 4.10 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, I'm I'm total. I've been on the Padres for a minute now. Um, I'm on them tonight again, and it's Blake Snell against Corbin Burns, which is a little bit of a. It doesn't sound like a mismatch, but Snell really hasn't been off to the best start. You know, he's kind of dealing with some injury issues. But I took him anyway because they're on a win streak, and I feel like this could be his spot. It kind of looked too easy to take Burns, um, so I took him at plus. But if they do lose this game because Blake Snell has a rough start. 
the game we're talking about right now, I think is, you know, one of those games, they're going to get right back on track. They don't want to be on any kind of losing streaks or anything like that. Darvish is the ace. Let's go Padres. I'm with you here. Now, like I said, you're at the top of the leaderboards at picksandparlays.net for your premium plays. Tell the people what they're going to find when they roll over to buy your stuff. Well, I mean, what they found last week is I had a tough week, but prior to that, I had six winning weeks in a row and made a ton of money, and there's a reason why I'm still on the leaderboards at, at uh, picksandparleys.net. Uh, my NBA picks since April 1st, 36 and 22, and my dime players during that period of time up $12,700 uh, since April the 1st. 10 star top plays, and I'm going to have an NBA 10 star top plays side in tomorrow's game five of the Boston and Miami series. I've gone 26 and 10 with my 10 star top plays with my last 36. That's good for 72%, folks. And uh, if you played every one of those selections since I've been giving them to you, and some of you have, you've made over $21,000 as a dime player. <laughs> 11500 as a nickel player. Uh, I don't want to break it down any further than that. You made a lot of money no matter what you're betting per game. So, again, folks, uh, Major League Baseball, uh, my Major League Baseball 10-star top plays. I've only given out three this year, won all three. But since the start of last season, Ellie, 45-23 and 23 with my Major League Baseball 10-star top plays, good for 60%. And uh, do I have a figure on that? Uh, let's see. No, I don't. But anyway, that's a lot of money, too, because I never give big chalks out. I never nope. surpass minus 140. I very seldom even come close to that number. And, uh, Ellie, it's all about return on investment when it comes to money line wagering um, and Major League Baseball betting. So, uh, yeah. A lot of money to be made. All you got to do is go to the site, folks. Picksandparleys.net. Ross Benjamin. What are it's you waiting right for? There. It's yeah. all right there for you. We make it really you know I apologize to some of you who dabbled in last week. We had a bad week. Um, but uh, if you've been with me for a while, you're well ahead of the game. And I'm going to bounce back with a vengeance this week. I already started last night, Ellie, as I had the Boston and um, Miami game four under the total of 206 and a half, easily winning as it landed on 184. Boom. Yeah, it did. He could not find the bucket. Could not find that bucket. Um, okay, so if you guys want to jump on board with Ross Benjamin and his premium plays, and I don't know why you wouldn't, use the promo code NHL, and that's going to save you an additional 20% off whatever you purchase from Ross. That's the beauty of the leaderboards. You can have a bad week, but you're still on the leaderboards. You know you're good. You know you're doing something right. Um, so use that promo code, save 20% with Ross Benjamin, and until then, we're going to roll with the Padres when they take on the Brewers on Wednesday night.